Tobe Davis here with another Agave Spirit Symposium review, and this time the mission is... Oh, jeez. This guy doesn't seem well. Hmm. What's his problem? Ah! Reviewing 1800 Blanco Tequila. 1800 Blanco Tequila gets its name because 1800 was the year that the producers of this wonderful premium brand of tequila first came up with the recipe for it. After they tasted that recipe, they knew they'd never need another. 1800 belongs to Juan Domingo Beckman and his family, who also own another tequila label, Jose Cuervo. Only the most renowned tequila label on the face of the planet, Gatote, greatest tequila of all time, true tequila cred. But you see, Willard, these days, celebrity endorsed big box tequila brands churn out oceans and oceans of rapidly produced tequila, often employing the use of a contraption called the diffuser. It's a massive conveyor belt that scalds the raw Blue Weber agave piñas with superheated water while they're being milled, often with the use of chemicals. This effectively eliminates the slow, laborious cooking or steaming process, all in the name of profits. Quantity over quality. Their ideas, their methods have become unsound. I hate them, the nabobs. I do hate them. Uh, whereas 1800 tequila gets its start when perfectly ripened, Blue Weber agave piñas are harvested from the fields by a trained cadre of hemadors employing the use of the tall, skinny, spade-like tool called the koa. The rule among the hemadors is that in order to chop the spikes off of the tequila piña properly, you need to use a koa whose blade is as sharp as your mother-in-law's tongue. After those blue Weber agave piñas are extracted from the fields, they are taken to the distillery in the town of Tequila, Jalisco, where they are then cooked in massive pressurized steam autoclaves for 72 hours. For three days, those tequila piñas macerate. macerate with extreme pressure. The juice from those tequila piñas is then fermented for an additional three days in stainless steel tanks before it is distilled to 80 proof in stainless steel column stills. Let's try tequila 1800 and see if it's not the best Blanco tequila I've ever tasted. I love the smell of tequila in the morning. Mmm. Peppery. Citrus scent. But that agave, spicy agave scent smells like victory. Sarud. Mmm. Nice peppery agave flavor, but 
grassy notes, little vanilla sweetness. Hmm. But is it the best Blanco I've ever tasted? It's close, man. It's real close. With a Norma Oficial Mexicano of 1122, the really good news about 1800 Blanco Tequila is that you won't have to go on the World Wide Web to order a bottle of it. 1800, in all its alliterations, the Blanco, the Reposado, and the Añejo, are readily available in liquor stores and markets from coast to coast, which is really good news for a friend of mine named Charlie because he's not exactly internet savvy. So buying at a store is better for Charlie because Charlie doesn't surf. This is Tobe Davis saying, This is the end. The horror. The horror.